All right, so you might officially be the first person on a wine walk to double fist. To double fist? Yeah. Tell the good people what you're drinking in the Red Solo cup. Ah, uh, this is some good old Tito's. You know, I, I, was, I was looking for some Hennessy or some Patron. But I got some good old Tito's. You know, can't go wrong with Tito's. Just straight up, no mix Straight up, up. no, no, never mix. Special guest, Terry Rogier. That's where we cut, cut it, Frankie. We're, we're, we're done with this one. He, he talked about game seven. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys doing this thing now? All right, see you guys later. So we took a momentary pause in the wine walk to do a little pizza review with Dave. Your pizza score was a little low. Are, are you a difficult man to please? I'm not saying that. <laughs> I don't want nobody to think that. I do have a, a now, bone to pick with you. No, 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 I, have, I still have okay. some. All right, what's the bone? Uh, here's a bone. So I did the wine walk with Drew Bledsoe, and he was very proud that he had Scary Terry merch that was given to him by you, yet it was bootleg Scary Terry gear. Wait, so you're telling me that this one's not legit? I have told you like two or three times it's bootleg. Well, I guess, I guess it just goes in the fire then. Oh, well. <laughs> he goes back and gets it. Just kidding, I still want it. Why are you handing out bootleg Barstool merch? Did he say it was bootleg? It, it was bootleg. Unbelievable. Uh -huh. that's under, see, that's another thing that's unacceptable. What's the uh, right. explanation there? You know, I'm not a guy that likes to blame it on other people. So, I'm sorry, Drew Blesso. You're my guy. I mess with you to another level. But, the Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen, I'm not a guy that likes to blame other people, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. Talk to me about this year. So Kyrie goes down. Kyrie goes down. Uh huh. You step in there. Gore Hayward goes down first game of the season. First game. First 30. Not a beautiful injury. Not a beautiful injury. No. Our team, we got together and we prayed. And I think from that point on, we took it to another level. We didn't worry about the naysayers, the negativity that we, we turn on the TV and you see all the bullshit. Talk, 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 talk. Yeah, all the talk, talk, talk. We, we could have even went farther. We should be playing right now. But, uh, Do you watch the finals now? I kind of don't. I wouldn't think that I would either. Yeah, I, don't. I don't, I don't. But uh, no, kudos to the two teams that's left. Don't give them kudos. <laughs> it's like a fake kudos. Yeah. It's not like a real kudos. But. What are you looking forward to next season? What's your role going to be like now that, well, hopefully if, if Kyrie comes back, uh, healthy and ready to go? Well, the practice is going to be super fun. Uh, going to be super competitive. Well, you know you know what we expect. We're not, we not expecting yeah. nothing less than a championship. But I don't want to get too much into that. But next year, I think the league is going to watch. So what's up with Terry Rozier? What's your jam? What's my what? What's your jam? Who are you? <sighs> it's a kid from Youngstown. Uh, I love clothes, I love uh -huh. fashion. I love women. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the scandalous uh, line of the, of the walk. I love women. Uh, Do women love you? Actually, I mean, I like you. Now, when I go to Miami, I'm going to be poolside. I'm going to be... No, in the clubs a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Women, women, Have women. <laughs> just going to Miami for, for the women. Let's just be honest. Let's be honest. Uh, and that's exactly what you should be doing at 24. All right, so, so at what age should I settle down and get married? When you find the right person. It don't matter the age. Nah, it does matter the age. I always, does it not, like it makes me a little sadder when I see athletes like going into the NFL or the NBA or whatever the case may be and they're like 22 and they marry their college sweetheart right out of the gate. Like right that's your, the gate. Yeah, that's that your, can't happen. Yeah, that's your time to, to mess around, discover what kind of adult you want to be, what kind of professional you want to be. Right, right, right. Yeah, that, nah, that's some Liz advice for you. Nah, yeah, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. No, play while you can. Play while you can, be smart about it, have fun, and when it's that time, put a ring on it. It's a very romantic ending to this wine walk. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs>